Hello world, Geriatric Geek here. How in the heck are you? I hope you're doing great. It's a beautiful Friday morning here. I believe it's the 18th of September. We're just cruising right along on this month, getting it, getting it knocked out. So, as you already know by the description, the old geek went out and, excuse me, and um, hoarded up. Broke out the old wallet and bought myself a couple big sets. I want to share with you a couple of those, what I did pick up and what's available now if you're interested. Uh, these are out there, especially, for example, this one, Clint Eastwood's 40 film collection. 40 films, actor, director, icon, five-time Academy Award winner. That's right, Clint Eastwood. In Walmart. $29.99, I think that's 30 bucks. All this is the DVDs, but uh, yeah, 24 disc set, y'all. If you haven't seen it, that's out there. Those are a list. That's the back if you're interested. We're going to break into this right now and check it out, see what it looks like on the inside. I'll share it with you guys. So, what do you guys think of Clint Eastwood? Is he one of your favorites? I. I have some Clint Eastwood stuff, but not a lot. Um, you know, I'm a horror guy, really, but, you know, I, st I started out when I was 15, 16, watching Clint Eastwood, the, you know, Kelly's Heroes and uh, Dirty Harry, Magnum Force, The Enforcer. I saw all of those when I was a kid. Any which way you can. Uh, let's see. Sudden Impact was a favorite of mine. Let's see. Unforgiven. Space Cowboys, I kind of like that one. Million Dollar Baby, I do remember that. More of the, the more recent ones, you know, I'm, I guess I really haven't seen all of them. So I'm glad to have this set in my possession so that I can check out the ones I have missed, you know. Which, uh, you know, we'll see. Let's break into this bugger, see, what, uh, see what's inside. Real quick. Uh, I know these are still in Walmart as of yesterday, or at least my Walmart. Um, so, kind of down near the bottom. There it again. Let's see how we get this open. It has a J card on it. All right. Oh, okay. Then it actually tells you years and the ratings and all that stuff on the J card on the inside. Pretty cool. We get, oh, this plastic. Is it plastic? Am I going crazy? Yeah. There you go. Kind of a plastic case. Comes in, oh, uh, all right. Master filmmaker at work, a selection of imagery from Clint Eastwood. A little hard, hard back book here. Clint, back in front. Like a bunch of photos from the films. Yeah, a little background, a little behind the scenes kind of stuff, it looks like. Very nice. Clint Eastwood. What's this? This is just a spacer. But here is comes in like a book form. Lots of pictures of Clint on the front there. Very nice. There's this. From the Eastwood 40 film collection. Well, he was young there, wasn't he? 
Uh, I like this set. I thought I was going to like the set, but I'm liking it kind of less now because they've got them in like this kind of a situation. DVDs don't do well in this kind of a situation, so uh, hopefully they don't get scratched when, once I take them out and look at them. It looks like they've got two movies per disc. Dirty Harry, Magnum Force. Oh, I like Magnum Force. The Enforcer, The Gauntlet. Next set. Next group. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the way they packaged it. Double-sided discs, evidently. Very nice. So, this will help me move a few of the ones I do have out of my collection and give me some room. Invictus. I've not seen that one. Quite a few I haven't seen, so glad to have this set. Very nice. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the way they package the discs per particularly, but uh, you know, they, they couldn't go too far, I suspect, with this because uh, at a $30 price point, beer made out, as PMAC movies would say. <laughs> so there you go. I like it. What do you guys think? You're a big Clint Eastwood fan? Now, the piece de resistance for me. That's right. Oh, holy moly, this thing is heavy. Gamera! The complete collection of Gamera. Look at this thing. Put out by Arrow Video. Of course, Gamera first appeared in 1965. In the black and white movie, Gamera the Giant Monster. I remember. I love me some Gamera. You guys don't know, Gamera is like a... a um, he's the product of radiation. And he's a turtle, basically. Looks like a turtle. I, I'm not going to say it's a turtle, but he looks like a turtle. I guess he's a turtle. I don't know. Some call this Gamera the Giant Monster. They call him. The, they call him the uh, Godzilla ripoff. I'm not. I don't think so. There have been 12, 12 Gamera films, and all of them are in this set. Evidently, Gamera is a giant, fire-breathing, flying, prehistoric monster resembling a turtle. Radiation mutate. Let's get into this. Radiation mutation. Exposure to nuclear weapons, evidently, caused his this turtle to come alive, harass humans. It's got a J card also. So they're all oh, nice. Look at the back. It's kind of got his, his turtle shell looking thing there. That's uh, what it looks like on the inside. Upside down, probably, yep. Gamma, the complete collection. Man, I'm excited to check this out. I'm not sure if this is still available at all, but I'm sure, well, I'm sure it is somewhere for some price somewhere. But for a reasonable price, I'm not sure. All right. I first watched my first Gamera uh, in the 70s. That's right, it was on TV here in the United States. They used to do a thing called the Creature Double Feature in my area, and uh, this guy was part of it. Yeah. At first, Gamera was aggressive um, towards humans. He, you know, tried to destroy them, obviously, but uh, as, as it turned out, eventually, um, Later, he became a protector of humans. Look at that. This is the background. It's, wow. What is all this? A History of Gamera, 2020 by Patrick Macias. It basically goes through all the... Uh, one, two, one, one, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, it goes through all 12 of the, the movies. There's the back. Some really great artwork on there, isn't it? Look at that guy. Oh, camera is... That is nice. I love this kind of stuff. I'll show you one of the pictures here real quick that I thought was interesting. Look at him battling, shooting out those those rays. Fire. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then here's camera, the comics. I didn't know that I didn't realize this was in here. Wow. Gamera, the comics. What's that say? Gamera versus Gaiads. Explosive first issue. Wow. wow. Nice artwork. Check it out. I'm wondering if all of those comics are in this book. I suspect they are. So this is, yeah, a nice hardbound hard bound book. Good job, Arrow, really. And then, here's the movies. They're in this hard pound, hard bound. I can't say bound today. Oh, mm. Grunting. Yeah, they're put in just the way I hate, as usual. Look at that. But the good news is these are Blu-rays. So, uh, shouldn't have an issue. They're a little more tough than the DVDs. Let me show you the next... that what's that he says uh -uh. looks like uh, lobby cards camera versus zegra camera super monster camera the guardian of the universe camera 2 attack of legion Gamera 3, Revenge of Iris, and Gamera the Brave. Nice lobby cards there. There's some more over here. Let's see what these look like. Now, this is from the first one, the black, yeah, the giant monster, because it was the only, it's the only black and white one they had was the first, first movie, Gamera the Giant Monster. <clears throat> Gamera versus Barugon, 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 Barugon. How does that go? Like that. Gamera versus Gaius. I've seen, out of the 12, I've seen three, I do believe, so I'm, I'm going to have fun watching these. This is Gamera versus Virus. A virus there. <laughs> These people, their their art and their creations are just amazing. Gamera versus Giron again. Giron. And Gamera versus Jiger. So there you go. That is cool. I think it's a cool set. What do you guys think? Like I said, these are all Blu-rays. Uh, these are both of these. The uh, both of these sets are out now. Like I said, that is really cool. 
The art in the book is just amazing. So I'm really happy to have this set. Let me know down below if you're a if you're a Gamera fan or a Clint Eastwood fan. And if so, what was your favorite? What's your favorite Gamera movie? What's your favorite uh, Clint Eastwood movie? Let me know down below. I'd like to know. Put this back together real quick. Oh, man, that thing is hefty. It weighs a lot. So I am happy as heck to have this. Put this aside real quick. There's a couple other things I picked up that I wanted to go through just real quick, just to show you, tell you about them so that you know they're out there. Um, one is David Cronenberg's Shivers, the best drawn release. These things are amazingly, um, well, they're less expensive than you normally pay for a Vestron. That's what I'm trying to say. I think they're like $12. I think this is down to like $11 on Amazon as of yesterday. Uh, Shivers. Uh, Vestron Video Collector Series is a line of classic and unique genre films re remastered and numbered and packed with special features. So this is number 18 of their uh, collector series. A cult favorite, Shivers is acclaimed filmmaker David Cronenberg's uh, controversial feature-length debut when the residents of a lu luxury apartment complex outside Montreal are infiltrated by parasites and transformed into violent sex-crazed maniacs, it's up to Dr. Roger St. Luc to contain the outbreak from spreading to the city at large in a film that scares and shocks us because it's so cleverly made, says Robert Ebert. Of course, Cronenberg uh, did The Fly and Naked Lunch. Also says it comes with a digital copy. The bad news is, I got mine from Diabolic DVD and... Uh, Neither one of these, Shivers, or the one I'm about to show you, had the um, digital code in it. So I contacted Diabolic DVD, and they, they don't handle that, so they referred me to Lionsgate, and hopefully Lionsgate will get back to me with, uh, with my digital code. And the other one I got was a, a fan favorite, I think. A lot of folks like this, but I, shh, I have never seen this. Little Monsters. Little Monsters is the story of Brian, Fred Savage, a sixth grader who's recently moved to a new town and made friends with Maurice, Howie Mandel. The monster who lives under Brian's bed, Maurice introduces Brian to the world of monsters where junk food rules, adults aren't allowed, and the fun and games never end. But when Brian's brother is kidnapped, it's time for Brian to get serious and fight the monsters on their turf in this zany cult favorite. Move back. Move this aside. Again, Little Monsters. Let me know. I know a lot of you folks have probably seen this one and saying, Hey, Kyle, you missed it. I don't know. I missed that sucker. I don't know how I did. To be honest with you, it's PG from 1989. I don't think where I was in 1989. Ah, I'm still in working in the prison system. So there you go. I thought those are both of these are really cool. Very nice releases and very inexpensive. Both of them uh, right around 12 bucks. And Walmart, I understand, has them also. So uh, check them out. And one last final thing I wanted to show you guys was the steel book target exclusive of the trilogy from Rob Zombie yeah House of the Thousand Corpses The Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell all the unrated versions where Sam Haig is in uh, Sam Haig um, Sid Haig is in here one of my favorites back. Like I said, this is a um, steel book. I've got it in a plastic case to keep me from banging it up too much. 
and it comes with a plastic outer sleeve with all the goodies on it and then just art on the front and the back Hey, and there's a code. Yay! That's what the inside looks like. Artwork on each of the releases. Very nice. A lot of Rob Zombie haters out there. I, you know what? You know what? I, I like a lot of his work. I like, especially like the House of a Thousand Corpses. Let me know what your favorite Rob Zombie movie is, if you have one. So, hey, that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, all of these are available now. Everything that I've showed off today, uh, they're available. And uh, got my little Looney Tunes shirt on. Love me some Looney Tunes. My mind is really loony. <laughs> Anyway, you guys keep having fun. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Please, I'm begging. Let's get the old boy to 2,000. That's right. We're going for 2,000 before the end of the year, maybe. Let's try this. Anyway, hey, you guys uh, keep smiling. Keep having fun. Until next time. Peace.